There's no line. No, it's not. It's far from a horror movie. Uh, no, but it's Ale you're Alex Band, and the band is The Calling. Yes, it is. Right. And and the incredible thing is, you're, you're 20 years old. Yes. Uh, which is uh, middle age for a rock musician. <laughs> and you have this huge hit. Tell me about that. No, it was, you know, it's the first single off our first record. It came out in America about almost a year ago now. We've been touring since, but no, now it's gone international. It's like number one in like 11 or 12 countries. And its title is? Uh, Wherever You Will Go. Wherever You Will Go. And, and it was written for, applied to? It was applied to actually a lot of things. One of the things being Enterprise, that's what I was saying before, which was funny. The Star Trek. The Star Trek thing, you know, used to the commercials. It was actually used in like the NHL playoffs and like the World Series and... It was, uh, we played at the Olympics in Salt Lake, and it was used through Fantastic. Yeah. So it, you've got a, an international hit, but it, it was used uh, as a, a, a in advertising yeah, for, for, for uh, Star Trek. Yeah, a lot of different things. So science fiction enters into that song right away. It does, wherever you will go, I guess, you know. <laughs> well, well, yes, uh, where, where, wherever you will go, where no song has gone before. The, uh, the other incredible part, and, and really the connection between... Uh, Alex Band is Charles Band. Yes. Who's Charles Band? That would be my crazy father, <laughs> <laughs> who makes all these movies that they're kind of about to watch. Yeah. I mean, my first memory is like a, a 15 foot tall baby ripping a girl's clothes off or something. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. A childhood memory. That was typical. <laughs> a horror film. Yeah. That's remarkable. Did it affect you, do you think? Not, I mean, not really. I mean, I think. In, in good ways, nothing bad. But honestly, I think growing up with that and being on the set of, of those movies and seeing what how it's really done and how it's really created, you know, made it easier as a kid, you know, watching horror movies. So you don't think that your association with terror and horror uh, films as a youngster, from the, uh, almost your first memory, a 15-foot monster, affected you not at all? Um, I mean, not to not to follow rock music, <laughs> but definitely uh, maybe. To be stronger of a person, or to you know, or to not be scared of things and whatnot. You've acted in films. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, I mean, with this band, we actually were in a movie called Coyote Ugly. Oh, Coyote Ugly. Yeah, I saw it. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just in the scene playing actually the song, the hit song. Uh huh. And uh, but beforehand, yeah, growing up, you know, I, I acted in little parts in a lot of my dad's movies. I know a lot of the fans of our band now are like going back to research to find what movies I was in. Do you remember any? Oh yeah. No, I was in what? Uh, I was in a movie called Transfers Two, Puppet Master Two. Oh, I was in all the twos. I was in a movie called Doctor Mordred. I actually had a line in that one. Uh, what was the line you had? Something like, "Man, they were giants." I was like looking up at a, a dinosaur or something. Would you do me a favor, Alex? Yeah. Deliver the line, like you did to us. I need to see the movie again. No, it's no. Been I mean, so man, long. they they were giants. Yeah, right. I well, think I was about seven. Okay, so right here, right uh -huh. here, is the is the is the giant. And when I say action, I want you to. Okay. And I was there with my with my mother. Okay, so put my your arm mother. around your mother. Uh, no, uh, I'm more around her waist. Around her waist. Tiny. Okay, and she's towering above you. Yeah. She's okay, tiny. right here now. Ready? Action. Man, they were giants. <laughs> That's exactly how I sounded, because I was a little kid. <laughs> you know who would be so proud of you? I'm going to surprise you. You're fine. It can't be that much of a surprise. No, it's not. Hey, I knew, I, mean, I, he, I knew he had something to do with this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be around. Well, Charlie, you must be so proud of your son. I am, because in a heartbeat ago, he was that little kid. You he know, was coming off of one of my giants. sons. <laughs> do it again. No, I can't. Man, they were giants. <laughs> one quick story, just, I mean, how interesting it is, because, you know, for Alex's life, and of course, since, I, since Alex came into this... Uh, on this planet, you know, he's been visiting me on all my little horror movie sets. I mean, probably at least a hundred. I mean, not just really? one. Oh, yeah, because I've made over 200 movies, so there's a lot of little movies we've made, and he's always on the set at different ages in different countries, Italy, the States. Mm. And it was a thrill for me just a few months ago to go visit him on his set doing a rock video, which was like a strange reversal. And let me tell you, his set was much bigger, more impressive, with a lot more money and people <laughs> than this set right now. I mean, you know, I have to tell you this. Oh, I, you've got a great career in another area than your father's, but maybe one day you and your father will work together.